Yeah, I hear you. I could adjust the background brightness until it's significantly dim but still visible, or I could continue. Shit! Oh, subverted. We're playing entangled. It's got ropes. Oh, it started already. Hey, hi. <laughs> what an intro for me to give. Welcome to Entangled. It's got ropes. <laughs> Welcome, Prototype Zero One. Lots of zeros. You are an artificial intelligence, the latest model in a long line of rope units. Here to be trained in the art of rope singing. Let us roll. Huh? Huh? Make sure to check out the controls in the menu. All right. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a there's a camera following me up here. So this is a puzzle game where you have rope physics and whatnot. Let's see here. Spacebar to jump. Oh, spacebar to jump very high, like very high. Left click to. S Okay, you wait you wait for the little the laser to come up and then you can swing along. Right click to let go. Got it. Got it. S Oh. Ah, A and D will affect your current rope length. There we go. You have rolled into the grappling gun training program. Uh no? Nothing can hold back the impressive prototype, zero one. Here, we will expand upon your impressive rolling ability. To include the art of using a grappling hook, oil up those gears of yours. The training starts now. Grappling gun training, okay. Oh, this is the, oh, this is the hub world, okay. These are not puzzles for me to solve, this is a level for me to navigate, I mean, uh, series of levels. Let's go to movement. Okay. Face bar. Gra oh, you gotta really point at it. You don't have to... I tried to reflexively kick it, uh, right clicking, or left clicking. Uh, no, you have to be within, like, the range or bad happens. Oh, we got trampolines. That work how you expect trampolines to work, which is you kind of just keep jumping. Rope. Okay. I just bring myself up here and keep going like Spider-Man. That's exactly how this works. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hit. There we go. That's a pretty intuitive system. You have ventured into more doorways. It is safe to say that you have learned the basics. Now, we need to edge more intricate pathways into your artificial mind. So prepare your cooling system, because we are turning up the heat. Huh? Okay. What's up there? Huh? What's that? What's that? What do you got over there? You wanna tell me? You wanna tell me? Am I annoying you right now? Am I annoying, right? Am I annoying you right now? I don't know how to make this work. Uh. Maybe I just gotta bounce at it? Oopsie. Oops. Nope. Trying to get the second bounce to go towards it. Nope. No oh, you can hit that. Even weirder. Oh. Oh, you have to shoot it. Oh, I was misinterpreting that entirely. I thought they were highlighting that, like, hey, look at that. I thought I was supposed to latch onto that and pull it down. But no, you latch onto that, and it was attached there. That part wasn't attached. I was wrong about everything. I was wrong about everything that was happening. Oh, I'm huge now. Okay, can I break this? Maybe if I hit it really hard? Be a lots of high bouncing. With carefully timed bounce. There we go. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha, but now they're in there and I can't get in there, it's so small. No. What if I want those things? Oh no! I'm extra doomed, I can't get through there either. Shit. Uh, hold W to extend a rope, right? Why to let me shoot it there? 
I can pull those around. Maybe that's the key? I take you with me and drop it. Physics! Get that out of the way. That's totally how this works. Save me. Come on. Come on, just a little further. Just a little further. You're still moving a little bit, I think. No? Alright. Yeah. Save me. Oh no. Physics, save me. Oh, press W to pull you in. Then rotate around. Huh. Need you to go over there. I guess I can just push you. There we go. Little more. There we go. Haha. Now I'm tiny. Fuck it. Okay, I have bucket. Oh, but I am in, I am also in bucket, which causes its own problems. There we go. I bet we can. I bet we uh, accumulate a maximum weight, and then I can pull it over here. Oh yeah, it's heavy. And then I bet it breaks the floor. It's physics. Oh no, it is not actually succeeding. Do I jump on it? Break. Break. There we go. <laughs> it eventually worked out. How did I get down here? I like beat the bucket down. I don't think I was moving faster though. I think it, I think it just put me down here. Here you go. Probably useful for something. Let's see. A pulley. We do have a pulley. What can I do with this pulley? Yeah. But I gotta be on top of this pulley. And then... Pull you down. It's... Eh, eh. Press W to make the rope really long. <laughs> Just shh, pooping out a rope over here. There we go. And now pull it back. There we go. Come on, a little further. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Help. Help. There we go. That, uh, didn't quite go according to plan. Let's get some more water. Or whatever. Bubbles. To bobble. More bobbles. Bubble like bobbles. Oh my god. That's how that pun was made. That's how- that's how- or that's how that name was made. I did it. I cracked the code. 20 years later. 30, 30 years later? 30 years later, I think. It's a very old game now. Hit. Oh boy, don't tip it over. Uh, go for it. We're good. Oh yeah? Bins. Oh, there I am. Hi. How you doing? I wonder if I can start walking around during that intro. Actually, I think it skipped- I think it- The camera went whoop to me real quick when I pressed, uh, A. So I think if you start moving, it just skips that intro. Okay, do you like green? You like green. There's no animation for it, though. Huh. The instantaneous disappearance feels like it's lacking something in presentation. Can I jump on you? Yeah. But now I gotta bring you up here, don't I? Meow. Gonna make this very long so I can get back up there. Or not. I'll just jump up there myself. Yeah. Excuse me. I need you to come up here, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Enjoy your eternity and wherever the hell that was. Sure it wasn't painful or anything. Hey! Take me with you. Very rude to leave me hanging like this. Hey. Eh. I just gotta get you to go. Come on. Yeah. There we go. This game's got a nice little thing going. The, set, the physics are kind of satisfying to tool around with. Uh, it's very minimal in presentation. So it's going to accidentally go well with the other game of this episode that I already recorded. 
for context, I played a game called uh, Achromatic, and I played it alongside Ooh Ascension. I was like, oh, that'll be the double feature. Uh, Achromatic had an embargo, so you, they're gonna, this, the second half of this video is going to be me being tired playing that game late at night. And because I was tired, I played a game that was under embargo. And I'm like, well, that was, defeats the whole purpose of me staying up a little later to do the Let's Try, so I have it prepped. So that'll, that'll be what's going on later, if you're confused. <laughs> I take the bottom one with me. He'll grab the top one, maybe? If he grabs one of them, I can turn the other one in. Aha! You've been tricked, bamboozled, I've lost, I've failed. You can't beat me. Haha! -ha. Oh, damn it. That didn't quite go according to plan. But yeah, so that'll be the second half of this episode, is me thinking I'm filming the episode, the rest of the Ascension episode, but turns out I'm filming the second half of this episode, which didn't exist yet. Hooray! Showbiz. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Thanks for- why- go away. Excuse me. Excuse me. Rude. Rude. Very rude. No. 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 Oh. That makes me sad. Anyway. Go take that one, please. I got shit to do. Eh. Not really what I was hoping for, but okay. I mix up the left and right, uh, not left and right. The up and down directions a little bit. Is it still there? Do I need to get another one out? Oh, I think so. Yep. There we go. Did I still not win? Do I have to get all three of them in there? I guess I could just time it. Look like at that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that means you don't really have to worry about anything else. There we go. Spine tingling stuff. You have learned a thing or two about the grappling gun. But what happens when we introduce edge cases? This is a simulation. Physics is nothing more than a few lines of code that I control. Oh. Oh. You're the master. Oh, yep, you can skip it. You either think you're the master of my universe? I'll show you by playing the level exactly as intended. Mind blowing. Uh, these are very big. How much poop rope can I spit out? Is that the maximum poop rope length? Oh, I rolled it. Can I bring you up here? I'm gonna say no. I say that's a big no. What do you want from me? How am I supposed to get those up there? I have questions. Oh. Okay. That makes considerably more sense, honestly. So thanks for that. There we go. Alright, let's switch you back. i get you guys on the right side. Alright. I guess they were probably on reverse gravity when I came in here and I didn't piece it together. I thought I just brought them into the room via switch. But no, there's much more sophisticated stuff happening here. Uh, ah, ah. Ah, it changes my gravity. This is hell. This is hell. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I'm big now. Uh. Excuse me. Can you... Give me a second here. There we go. Uh. 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 I need to go over there. There we go. Am I big enough to pull these now? My giant muscles. Oh. Eh. 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 Not really... really working. Eh. 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 Eh? <laughs> Alright. How do... There we go. Now I'm at least in the right spot, kind of. Ah, I will lift you with my floating powers. This is... how the fuck does this physics work? I don't even know, man. 
Oh, we didn't cover this when I went to college. <laughs> it's called the wobble effect, where you just wobble through the air and, uh, question mark happens, profit. Stop that. There we go. Uh, is that a fan up there, or...? Hey. Come here. I don't know what I want you to do, but come here. Just, you know, generally. What... what are you? Why do you exist? What is your purpose besides to float? I guess that is your purpose, huh? If I bring you over here, you'll stop floating? Probably? Are you done floating now? Seems to kind of float no matter what, which is not that much. It's like very light. I think I want to position you here. Because then if I get that guy... Nope. I was thinking if I can pull that guy down and land it on top of that guy, then I can get it over there. Seems like a good plan. But how do I do that? I can't get the angle right. Maybe I'm supposed to just go up here? Excuse me. Maybe I'm supposed to get this thing that makes me smaller first? No. No. Okay, now we're getting stuck. Come here. Come here. Stay put. Stay. 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 Why are you made of ice? Uh. Stay. Stay, you weird cloud cube. Uh. There we go. Now I'm smaller. Hit. Is this a, okay, I can actually jump all the way up here. This might affect my ability to just do that now, like I planned. Hey, put. Wow, I jumped so much higher now. Curse you, rounded edges. Eh. 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 No, that's not happening. That is not the solution to this problem, okay. I guess I'll do it from over here then. My issue is I was hoping to have green land on purple when I brought it over, but I think this is the only way to get in range. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just a little further. Just a little further. Alright, now let go. Because, yeah, I think I can still do it if I believe in myself. Because you float, so I want green to be on top of you. And then I'm going to push you into the floaty z float zone. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Get into your zone. Calm down. Hit. Come here. Come here. Hit. 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 Yeah. Oh god, no, don't move around. Don't do that. Okay, this is not really going according to plan. Thought that would help too. Eh. Eh. Might be useful if I could shoot the top part of it. Okay, now I'm on the corner. That might help a little bit. Come down here. Oh, wait. Uh, you need to be in the middle. You need to stop moving around on me. Calm down. Calm down. Come here. Come, come, come here. It's fine. I like you. Let's be nice. Let's get along. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine! Come here. Come here. Kind of thought a higher angle might help pull it over, I don't really know. I don't know how torque works anymore, you guys. Come here. Please? Not really moving anymore. I miss when I was fat. <laughs> they wouldn't- this would've worked better back then. But I had to do that whole 20 year weight loss regimen, and it all play paid off, and I'm very happy with myself. But now, I can't function. Everything's a mess. Well, anyway, this is entangled. 
I've thoroughly ruined this, and this gobber stopper over here is just watching my shame, making fun of me. Anyway, guys, up next, we're gonna play that game I already recorded, but for, couldn't upload yet because of embargo. Isn't that a magical thing? Hey, here's a game for chroming down from the last game where all the stress was happening. Like one of the people that made one of those hex games, I can't remember which because there were so many of them, uh, made this game where they escaped from the oversaturated hexagon puzzle game market into uh, that one candy that you that where they, the candy is glued to paper and then you like pull it off and you're like, oh, there's paper on my candy. Why did anyone make this? And then you just live with that. Yeah, alright, so here we are. It just starts, it just goes, title, game. I didn't even press anything. What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? They drat. They, uh. Eh? Uh. Oh, are we playing Othello slash Reversi? Is that what this is? Okay. I think we're playing... I think we're playing Reversi. I have a copy of that. <laughs> just, just right over there. So I'm guessing the goal is to make everything on the screen one color. By drawing connections. Alright. Now does it puzzle? Yeah, at this point my question is, does it... Is there a puzzle mechanic? To s okay, can I do that? No. Okay, that's something. Okay, so you cannot cr you cannot convert multiple colors at once. So, I have to make you purple, then you blue. Okay, mechanics are coming in. I was a little worried this game might be entirely, basically the equivalent of popping bubble wrap. Like, you know, the kind of... There's a subgenre of puzzle games that are just, like, meant to be satisfying as opposed to challenging I guess it's a symmetrical map so it doesn't actually matter which direction I go in here both versions lead the same outcome there we go this might have order of operations puzzles I wonder I do wonder if it'll have unsolvable levels like levels where they become unsolvable if you do them in the wrong order We kind of went from maximum stress to maximum chill, didn't we? I've ruined it. I've ruined it all. Yeah, I can't. Even the game was like, you broke it. That's why there's a little, you broke it arrow down here. Being like, you jackass. What have you done? Okay, so. That's a bad idea. But go that way. Now we've got two blues. Hmm? Oh, now I can combine all of the skin colored one together. There we go. Da da. I might be wrong. I might always. It might have an undo thing happen the moment you make one action. It might not be based on having failed to solve a level. Hmm. It just undoes that chunk entirely. If I do this, I can't go there. The blue and the t tan become a problem. Because if I do this one, I can still convert these two together. Then you guys, then you guys. Ha ha! I wonder, is there like a level selected back here? Oh. Huh. That's a thing. Huh. Is it the entire game's level select? That's one way to do it. Alright. There might not be worlds that might be the entire game. I'm curious. Oh, there's a blank spot. What does that mean? Oh. Okay. So you can select across the blank spot. It just means that there's nothing there. Which does affect your ability to convert things. 
Hmm. There we go. Once you choose a path, you can just cruise through more or less on the spot. Um, blue bad, I think, but then how to get rid of this guy? That becomes a whole problem. Whereas if I get rid of you and you, then I'm doomed. Haha. -ha. I can't get across here. If you press that fast enough, because it has the modulating audio, it sounds like an NPC in a rareware game talking. That instantly traps you, right? There's no way to convert this to red. Yeah. Whereas more more blue fixes everything. Whoops. Except that. More blue then yeah. No. <laughs> no. I'm right, right? That doesn't work. I'll double check. Uh, because I kinda moved on. Because like you can't go down here. I still need something else. Okay, so we have puzzles. We found puzzles, you guys. This is actually a thing where you gotta figure it out. I'm actually surprised I'm stuck like this right now. Oh, convert all of these to purple. Does that help at all, actually? <laughs> yes, it does, because it makes that all one color. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Is that a world change? The background faded in. We got squares? Oh, because squares have right angles, that means that that's when you can start changing direction. Oh, that's that could get complicated. Okay. Combine to one color, then draw a beam. Yep. Why can't I do that? Wait, why could I do that? <laughs> um Oh, you can start on you can start you can only start and end on circles. You can't end you can't start or end on a square. That's cuz the two sides of the map were symmetrical, but the squares and circles were inverted to show that you can only do circles not squares. Okay. This is such a subgenre. These I've done Let's Tries of a number of them now, these like really calm, chill, hyper minimalist puzzle games on Steam. I like them. It's chill. It's fun. Was that a mistake? No, we're fine. Everything's fine. As it blooms out of focus and melodic piano plays. I feel like some element of the minimalism, but especially the piano, feels like it was. It, I feel like that part of the subgenre may have been directly inspired by the auditorium, which was one of the first, one of the first relatively popular popular flash indie puzzle games real early on. Oh, I don't have a way to make you guys dark blue, do I? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Ah, looks like a stealth bomber. What a peaceful thought to have in this peaceful game. And maybe it's just my particular bubble, but I feel like Auditorium was so popular around the time that indie games were much rarer. And I think that it shaped a lot of these like two-dimensional, peaceful, minimalist puzzle games you see nowadays that are like smaller in scale and everything. I did not actually even slightly plan a single action that I was just doing, and it showed. <laughs> get rid of that green. Doesn't belong here. In fact, yeah, we should get rid of every green. If it's just squares, and I'm inter if I'm if I'm uh, 
if I'm interpreting this correctly, squares are useless. I'm just, that's not it's not the way to articulate that thought at all. It's a little late. I spent all day on uh, a prolonged session of pathologic, and I'm a little zapped, so I'm playing relatively simple games on purpose right now. <laughs> uh, what I meant to say is that if every color, if every instance of a color is only on squares on the map, that means that it will, there's no, you can't convert anything to that color because it can't be endpoints and the endpoints are what causes the color. Therefore, you should just wipe out the squares, just get rid of them. There's just no reason to keep them around. Um, what do I do with you though? I can't go through here. We have both color types here. A few of them here. Is there much reason to keep this blue around? Maybe. You could convert this all to blue and help that take over a little bit. But I need a way of getting rid of this conflict right here. Oh wait, get rid of the red and blue. But I need this conflict to go away now. Can't wrap you around, can't you wrap you around. Yeah, all these, these are three different colors around here, that's a problem. If this was gone, I could go through here. Did I make that mistake somewhere? Because you, you can't do this, right? Wait, you can? Did I make up that square circle thing? I thought that other level, like, set that up. Maybe I miss. I have no idea. I can I can rewind it. Is it 16? 15? Let's learn. Why doesn't this work? I don't understand. Why does it work? No, I don't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Why can't I connect those to each other? But I can't... But I can do this? Why? 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 I don't understand. Why does it work that way? Why? I don't know. I don't understand. Why does it work that way? I feel like if you have three different colors in a row, you've already screwed up, basically. That could be wrong. This got a little harder. Do I really want more red? Especially if I delete that one. That kind of just traps me, doesn't it? I can turn all the stuff up here dark blue. But how do I get rid of this conflict? It really is order of operations. It's those kinds of puzzles. You're meant, you're meant to just quietly kind of stare at it and pick away at it and try to find what you're missing for a while. It's those kinds of games. Not the best to record for an audience. I'm just look. I'm just running through combinations in my head a little bit. Really just, above all, I want to get rid of this color. This one right here. If I could just find a way to do that, we're good. I don't know how to make dark blue go here. I don't know how I would do that. It's like, that's the conflict's part of the problem. I can make this, ooh. If only. I was just trying to think, like, maybe I can connect them all the way around, but no. Nothing about that really works. Just trying to find other ways around for wiping it out. 
But they, they're the same problem. In fact, it's almost equal. Where the top one and bottom one here are the same... Little different here. This more spread out. Um... Oh, wait, duh. That works. But over here is a problem. I can make that part blue. Oh, there we go. Loop back around there, that side. And I'm doomed. I might be a little tired for this. Uh... Make that one color, make that one color. And there we go. Ta-da! Just gotta see the right one. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there. But we had two games to check out. So, if you liked either of these games, first of all, thanks to the, to the developer just sending in the codes in so I could play them here for you guys. If you would like to check them out, check the link in the description for either game. And you can, you can go find their Steam page. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.